lady gang it is your girl lady lex and i am back with another video today's video i'm gonna be telling you guys my natural hair growth routine this is what i've been doing for the last four and a half months to grow my natural hair to the length that it is now i would say that my hair is probably about a good three inches all the way around um some places it's close to four inches but all around it's it, it's three inches in at least every spot and i'm very happy and i'm very excited for that so i just want to give you guys the routine and the products and what i've been doing to my hair to grow it that long that fast i'm not gonna say that it's fast but i've been able to retain a good amount of length and i'm not i haven't measured my hair but i'm just saying three inches from basically what i can see from what i've seen i haven't actually gotten a ruler and measured it which i will do next time when i take these braids out i will measure my hair and see how long it is all the way around but i just want to give y'all my natural hair routine okay first off i want to start off by saying that my natural hair growth routine i feel like i owe the most credit to was doing the big chop because I started with a fresh slate. I didn't have any split ends or anything like that. I went ahead and did the big chop. My hair was like really, really short. I will insert a picture if I can. If not, the picture will be on the thumbnail of what it looked like. And yeah, that's what I started off with. I started off with a clean slate and I actually braided my hair the same day I did the big chop, I braided my hair. I am a licensed braider, so yeah, even though my hair was really short, I was still able to catch it. My hair was very, very short, like under an inch. Like, I don't even know. It may have been about half an inch long all the way around. And I braided my hair. I put it in some box braids and I wore those for a month. Then I put another set of box braids in. Were those for uh, a good minute. I can't remember exactly how long. And then I had some knotless box braids. I only wore those about two or three weeks because they started to get really frizzy and I just didn't like it. I mean, I like the knotless box braids, but um, due to how short my hair is, it's easy for it to frizz up because it don't go that far down into the braid. But when, when my hair gets longer, I would definitely try knotless braids again because they had no tension and they just felt really good in my hair. So I would definitely suggest those. And then after that, I now have, y'all excuse my hair. I haven't found the best edge control yet. So that's why my edge is looking all frizzy and stuff. But I have crochet braids in now. Braids are a big, big role in my natural hair growth journey. I know a lot of people say that braids broke their hair off and all that type of stuff. And me, not just because I'm a hair braider, but because I've learned my hair and learned a lot about hair since I've been doing my own hair since like high school age, I have been braiding my own hair and I've made some mistakes. I've seen breakage in my hair with braids and I know what not to do anymore. Braids really do help grow your hair and it's not because braids make your hair grow. Your hair is always growing. Braids help you retain the length that you have already, that's already in your hair. So you just get new growth and you retain all of your length. The only time braids break your hair off is if your braider braids your hair too tight. I know a lot of people say they lose their edges. It's because the person braided your hair too tight. And you can usually tell why they're braiding your hair that it's too tight. So you need to tell them this is too tight. Can you, you know what I'm saying? Do the braid a little bit looser because it hurts. Um, so yes, definitely speak up. But honestly, I would say try to go to somebody that don't worry that, you know what I'm saying, that's going to have your head hurting. Um, also, as far as braids and people saying, oh, it broke my hair off. No, the braids didn't break your hair off. You not properly taking your braids down broke your hair off. I see this so, so much. People will get braids. And as you know, when you wear crochet braids, box braids, after having them in for a month or so, or sometimes even two weeks, you have a lot of buildup in your hair. And people don't know how to 
get the build up out so instead of taking their time putting some oil on it and just like combing from the very end of the hair and coming up into the, where the build up is some people just like rip it out like they just get tired and aggravated and they just like well just get the comb and just rip it out that's why you're losing hair with your protective style that's why you're saying braids broke your hair off it wasn't the braids it was you not knowing how to properly take your hair down i'm not gonna say it's a proper way to take your braids down i'm just gonna say be careful if you're in a rush and you just combing and snatching out hair you gonna lose hair you're not gonna see the growth that you gained over those months or month or weeks because you sitting up here just aggravated putting the comb like that like that's that's gonna rip your hair out and then you're gonna say the braids messed up your hair you messed up your hair um yeah so i would just suggest all like if you're if you get built up around you know the beginning of the where the braid was i would say use oil like some type of hair oil of course i'm gonna suggest my lady legs hair grow oil but yeah seriously though you need an oil it don't really matter what kind it is just to put on there and like to comb it and get the um get the build up out or even water some people water works for them i prefer not to use water unless it's just like a last result if it's just so mad that nothing else is working i would say use water but before water i would definitely say use like product and then this right here is like a moisturizer this is by hollywood beauty it's tea tree oil hair moisturizer but that's like yeah you know it gives it good slip use products to have good slip to really remove that build up before you get water because water somewhat starts to cause matting so yeah i would use water as like an end result but i would like wash my hair like right after that and make sure you thoroughly comb it out don't let don't let it just stay there and get matted up um yeah so that's a big help to my natural hair routine was to wear braids and to take my time with taking them out so I can retain all of my length. Um, another thing that helped my natural hair, I feel like I'm not sure because I haven't worn my hair out a whole lot, but these, I'm just going to show you all the products that I have used on my hair as far as shampoo, conditioner, and stuff like that. As y'all saw the Hollywood Beauty that's what i like to use for a moisturizer i use this this is the shea moisture intensive hydration hair mask this i love this i love this so much every time i take down a protective style especially after i if i wore the style for a month or longer i definitely like to use this and it's really thick but it's a hair mask and i suggest you sit under the dryer with this and let it thoroughly penetrate your hair but it just had if your hair just feeling so soft and so good like use that and then i love that line of products so i got the intensive hydration this is just regular conditioner rinse out conditioner so yeah i use that and then i use oh my god y'all i love this so much and i'm so upset that i can't find this anywhere i can't and then i went on shea moisture website and they said it's discontinued like it's not available right now y'all shea moisture if anybody from shea moisture corporate see this please bring this line of stuff back please my hair loves this but the next best thing is this one but my hair loves this and this smells so good this smells so good but this is the Shea Moisture Yucca Plantain Anti-Breakage Strengthening Conditioner. Ooh, that's a long name. But this is an amazing product. Like, I love it. As y'all can see, the whole bottle, well, it don't look like it, but literally the whole bottle is almost gonna like. And I'm trying to savor this. I am trying to savor this. I do not want to use the little bit. I just want to hold on to it. I just want to hold on to it and then for my shampoo i have been using cure care um i'm probably gonna buy something different whenever i run out of this but this was just on sale this i've had i've had all of these products since i was relaxed but this was on sale at my local salads and at the time when i was relaxed this was my favorite hair care line 
and I do want to dibble and dabble back with that to see how it, my natural hair re reacts to it. But yeah, it was on sale, so I'm going to use all this before I buy some more. Like, why buy more shampoo when I still got like two or three bottles of that? It was on sale, so I just bought all of it. <laughs> So I, I'm good on shampoo, but the, the Shea Moisture line of conditioners is the bomb. Y'all, please bring this back. Anyway, and then last but not least, this is my hair growth oil that um, I have came out with. I will leave the link in the description um, so you guys can purchase it. But this has helped me so much. I put it in my hair when I have braids. I just oil my scalp with it and i do i use it for hot oil treatments and then i have that video linked somewhere down there too but i just recently uploaded that video on how i do my hot oil treatments using it this bottle right here is actually for sale i just wanted to show y'all this is the professional way it looks but this is my actual bottle that i use and yeah as y'all can see it's almost out but get your hair growth oil but that's pretty much all I've done. Like I just wash shampoo, conditioning, deep conditioning, hot oil treatments between the braids. But I've been wearing it braided most of the time since I've been natural and my hair has been growing great. Um, so make sure you guys stay tuned for my next natural hair video or whatever video. I gotta figure out some new video ideas because my hair is braided right now. So I can't really give you guys a whole lot of natural hair videos because my hair's in braids, but yes, make sure you guys subscribe and join Lady Gang and get your Lady Lakes hair growth oil. Bye, Lady Gang.